Good afternoon, everyone. Ever since I moved to New England, people have been telling me to visit Vermont during autumn. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do, but at my own pace. Let's go! Welcome to Brattleboro. I just stepped out of the train. I'm already in love with this town. You so, I just so happened to stumble upon Real Bill himself. Real Bill Cathan, folks, yes. Oh, of course, I've been on ESPN, <laughs> CNN uh -huh. Headline News, Discovery Channel. I was going to get on Jay Leno, but he just was getting out when I was getting in. Oh, wow. So, it's work, but uh, yeah, I meet a lot of people every day, and it's a lot of fun. And why do I do it? Yeah, why do so you I do it? I work with the kids. You know, ah. I try to help kids enjoy nature and be good kids and take good care of themselves. Mm. So, that's the way it is. I'm Real Bill. <laughs> so long, and thank you. Bye now. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> I'm a real shark pit player. <laughs> <laughs> now I can dance too. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> but uh, I've got about a hundred broken records in different categories, and some of my own records I broke. And I hope some of these people are from Guinness Book of Records, Ridley, believe it or not, RecordSetters.com, all around the world. Oh, I thank God for my help. <laughs> I'm already out of breath talking to you. <laughs> Well, real Bill. It was a certainly pleasant surprise to run into yes. you. Yes, okay, good to see you. What's your name? Gilbert. Gilbert, yes, Gilbert. Nice to meet you. All right, have a good day. Yes. <laughs> What's up? I say it's not like people in Texas. You uh, live in Texas, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, hi, people back there in Texas. <laughs> the man himself, real Bill. So the Amtrak that took me here, uh, it went a little bit late and I did expect to arrive to my host's house for tonight at nightfall, but oh, I didn't expect it to come this early. Also, it doesn't help that it's fall, the days are shorter. Oh well, the point of the game is to adapt. And perhaps our last bit of daylight, you can appreciate this. Now, Laka is where Rudyard Kipling wrote the Jungle Book. And it is dark. The only light is now coming from cars. Ah, so I am pissed. There was this one guy with a big pickup truck and those kinds of uh, mirrors that to stick out maybe two meters into the air and yeah it was dangerously dangerously close to hitting me I had to uh, matrix dodge to the side for it to not hit me that was pretty scary I'm not gonna lie I don't know y'all can barely see it, but finally this is the last turn before we get to the host house and I made it. Ah, I had a lovely yogurt with some nuts and granola. You know, even though I am from Texas, they serve me some pecans. Pecans? Pecans? I don't know, but the point is, they asked me how I pronounced it, and I didn't really know how to respond because uh, I'm from South Texas. It's a 95 or so percent Hispanic. Um... Yeah, you have to drive north from Brownsville to get to the south. So I am no expert on pecans or pecans, however you say it. Oh, they left me a note. Welcome, Gilbert.
I also have some chocolates and apple. Very hospitable people, very interesting. They're uh, husband and wife, uh, one's a geologist, and there's a forest ecologist, and they have portraits of their two little huskies. But yeah, that's uh, day one of Vermont and Autumn. I can really show you guys a lot because it was uh, getting dark. But yeah, I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna wake up early and then I'm gonna head out. Well, have a good one. Take care. Kick ass.